actually we are say around 500 years from each other from Pakistan army and we and third day there was a my fellow friend of fighters was near me he was from Pakistan army very young chap named Omar code name actual name Gulam Kibriya he just like an American cowboy he put his feet and started firing. I said, Omar, just came down because you will hit, you will be hit. He says, no, Tibu Bhai, let me kill another few. And suddenly he says, Tibu Bhai, who hit me from the behind? There was a, somebody fired me from behind. And I saw that uh, a bullet came from front, small bullet, and it came, uh, it gone through his back with a big hole. I opened my shirt put it that hole, it didn't stop, a lot of blood came. After five minutes, his body was, became white. And he says, Tipu, I cannot see. I said, okay, take the name of Allah and uh, take dua, uh, call him up And then he says, Tipu, I cannot uh, see the uh, anything. I cannot see you also. I said, you will be okay, no problem. No, Tipu, I cannot see the freedom. Uh, I cannot see the freedom, but if there is a um, Bangladesh become liberated, please, my request, uh, a um, flag, one flag should be, you should raise one flag. I will see from sky that the Bangladeshi flag is flying there. And from that day, actually after that, he just died in my knee. So. You know, all of us was became quiet. This is the this in this fight. This is the first death in our group, and then since then, uh, he, uh, every year in 16 December and all national days in 26 March, I took a, a flag in my house, and I pray for Omar, and his graveyard is still near the battlefield in Kirani Ganj. When there is a surrender going on in other area, they are also fighting. There are pockets of fighting going on in different places. And there was a confrontation between my groups and the Pakistan armies in several places like Mirpur, Mahmudpur and all other places. And finally, that joy came with the help of Indian army. Actually, uh, our Mukti Fauj, you know, actually the guerrilla forces has cleared all the way when they entered into Dhaka and the road was free because of us and we showed them how to proceed and how to come to Dhaka, inside Dhaka. And at that time, a lot of old, we are so nostalgic, our old memories came. We have lost a lot of friends, close friends during this liberation war. Our thought was only that we should be liberated. We forgot our family, we forgot our demands, we forgot our everything. Only motto, only our aim is to liberate this country. And finally, we have achieved it. The 16th December is our victory day. And that time, actually, we became free. So we have a lot of gratitude and thankful that Indian Army helped us. They have also gave their life and I went to Fort William, I saw, and I was so sympathetic that if they don't come, if they don't help us, especially Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, her contribution is the toughest contribution to liberate this country because she moved around all over the world to help us. And they gave us recognition on 6th of December. So we will not forget all the people of India, all the people of um, um, the political leaders, all the soldiers of India, they are so sympathetic. They have given shelter to our crores of our people. They have given us arms. They have given us shelter for training. And without this, actually, it was very difficult for us to take the training and liberate this country. So I hope the India-Bangladesh friendship will be lasting forever. And in between, if there is a lot of political talks and political 
the issues came, but nobody should forget the help we received during 1971 from India. And uh, it should be uh, a helpful, friendly country. So long, I hope long last Bangladesh-India friendship. Joy Bangla.